July 24th, 1915, a boat called the Eastland was parked right here at Clark and Wacker, right in front of this building here. This is the Reed Murdoch Warehouse, one of the oldest buildings on the river, built in 1913. This boat was to be carrying passengers to a company picnic. It was the Western Electric Company's annual picnic. They were located out in suburban Cicero. They would boat their employees from here up the Chicago River, across Lake Michigan, over to Michigan City, Indiana. The Eastland was the first boat leaving that morning. The Eastland capacity was about 2,300 people. We don't know exactly how many people they actually put on board this ship. It could have been over 3,000 people. We also don't know exactly what happened at this point, but something caused the boat, before it had even left the docks here, something caused this boat to capsize. And when it turned over, eventually 844 people lost their lives, including 22 entire families, which were wiped out in this disaster. Uh, a lot of people, to this day report like from the restaurants over here or standing off this bridge they'll look down into the water and they'll still see images like faces of people floating in the water like hands reaching up for safety there are actually police reports from people in the restaurants at night especially they'll look in the water they believe somebody is drowning in the river here and they'll actually call the police police will come and they won't find anybody here the building here is also considered to be haunted. They used a lot of makeshift morgues for the victims of this disaster. One of them would have been this building right back here, the Reed Murdoch. Uh, when you get so many people dying in such a short amount of time, the downtown morgues do not have space to hold all these bodies. Eventually, all 844 of them have to be identified and hopefully claimed by some next of kin. This building, People, especially that work in it after hours, report seeing uh, like shadow figures moving down the hallways. They'll hear like sounds coming from rooms above them where nobody should be. Lights will flicker on and off. Uh, they'll hear doors like slowly creaking open and slamming shut. I used to give a walking tour that used to uh, sit on the steps right there facing the building at night. I used to mention that about the lights flickering on and off and people would point to the building and say, hey, there's a light flickering on and off in that room over there. Now the main building that a lot of these bodies were brought to to turn into like a temporary morgue was a building in 1915 that was called the Second Regiment Armory. It was located over in the West Loop. That building eventually becomes Oprah Winfrey's Harpo Studios, where Oprah, initially she said she didn't really know what the history of that building was, but a lot of her staff and herself would claim to have a lot of experiences in it. They would hear the sounds of like ghostly children playing up and down the hallways of the building. There was one woman's bathroom where they hear the sound of a woman sobbing in there. Her night watchmen would hear like these crashing sounds. They'd go to investigate the origins of the crash, couldn't find anything. They got on their security cameras what looked like a woman in an old time gray dress. And Oprah nicknamed this woman the Gray Lady. She did several episodes of her show dedicated to the Eastland disaster and the victims of this disaster. Now, the armory building is no longer there. On the anniversary date, the 100 year anniversary date, a lot of paranormal investigators did descend on both locations, the old armory and this location. Some investigators were using some special recording devices that they put down in the water. They got some answers to some of the questions they were asking, like, you know, were you on the Eastland? Yeses and things like that. They also got some recordings of what sounded like gibberish sounds. But when they put those recordings through some software, they actually turned out to be words in the Czech language. And a lot of the employees of the Western Electric Company were Czech immigrants. Another interesting tidbit about the Eastland disaster, George Hallis, Papa Bear, the founder of the Chicago Bears, was actually supposed to be on that boat that morning. He had family that worked for the Western Electric Company, but he claimed that he was running a little bit late 
and he would have missed this boat, so he was planning on catching the next boat, which I guess for Chicago Bears fans, it was good that he did.